Hi, I'm Robert with Oakwood Lawn Maintenance, and today we're going to talk about the Echo 2620T. Uh, this is a 25.4 cc engine on this thing, very powerful, with the overmolded grip. And it's got two to one ratio on the head, the turning, the gears. So let's get right into this. Uh, here's the on and off button. Overmotive grip. Let's take it out of here, out of the, uh, the equipment defender. I love this thing, if I can ever open it. There you go. Ah, blind the key. Well, gonna have to get What are you doing? What? What was that? Said, what are you What are you doing? I thought you said you were going to make this. Really? I'm just trying. Come Practice makes Come perfect. On. Really? You want to make one? Make one on this. This is a trimmer. Yeah, right. Okay. Glad you showed up. Yeah, me too. Cue the intro. I've always wanted to say that. All right, cue the intro. My dog. Man. Cold out there. Hi everyone, I'm Robert with Oakwood Lawn Maintenance and uh, before we're going to get into talking about the uh, DSRM 2620T, I would like to make mention I have a short little video clip at the very end. And the reason for this clip uh, it's me, Robert, and me, Bert, AKA Bert, uh, trying to do a review on a snowblower. But the point of the video is actually, you can't always believe what you see or hear. Uh, you'll actually see my hand disappear in the center of the screen. So watch for that. Technology has improved such, I mean, it's it's awesome, really. The power of the video editing software that is out there nowadays uh, but yeah the, the whole point of the video is just to take everything with a, a grain of salt with that being said let's get into this video so how did I arrive and make it a decision on this trimmer how and why it's called critical thinking so some of the questions I've asked before I went out and purchased this trimmer, the uh, SRM 2620T, they do make an SRM 2620, uh, and there's one above this that's a little bigger and heavier, a lot more CC, a lot more horsepower. The reason why I came up with this is because I wanted something to kind of cross over between just your normal everyday trimming to a little heavier grass to be trimmed. Uh, the beginning of last year, obviously, we were all quarantined, locked down. We couldn't get out to do work in my state uh, right away. So a lot of areas actually grew up pretty quick and got some got into heavier grass. Uh, so I wanted something with a little more horsepower. And I was using for the past two years the Combi system, the Pass 225. It was a good machine. Uh, I say it was because now this SRM 2620T is my favorite uh, for trimming grass and working around uh, different obstacles. Uh, the pass, obviously, you can switch out the attachments, uh, you know, for edging, uh, hedge trimmers, all that good stuff. But we're not going to talk about this one today. 
Alright, real, real quick, a rundown on the SRM2620T features. Uh, it's got a 25.4 cc two-stroke engine. Uh, it's got a two-stage air filter filtration system. I'm going to show you that. Uh, it's the toolless access uh, to get into the air filter and everything. I'll show you that. Uh, it starts amazingly. I mean, it was sitting for what, two, three months, and I can start it on the second pool. Uh, it does have the large capacity. I say it's large compared to what I came from, but this is a 20.6 fluid ounces fuel tank, and I get about six properties before I actually have to fill it back up. Uh, obviously, it's got the over, over mold front and rear hand grips for extreme comfort. Uh, it's got the speed feed head 400. Flip this around. I highly recommend this. This is a time saver. And what I do is I pre-cut pre a lot of the string, count out three times the arm length. I roll it up, put a little tape on it, and I put it in my side pocket so you always have some string on you. Uh, two to one gear reduction. This speeds up the head. You could actually cut a lot easier with this gear reduction. Uh, the best way that I can explain it, you don't have to necessarily run the trimmer wide open for this to spin up to full speed, uh, if that makes any sense. I mean, these kind of trimmers, this two stroke, you should run them uh, full speed because that's just the way they're designed in my mind. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, the drive shaft. It's a four layer cable inside this. Uh, shaft length is 59 inches. Uh, let's see, we already said fuel capacity. Dry weight, that's an important one when you're trimming all day, is 12.5 pounds. Uh, let's see. It does come with a two year commercial and a five year consumer for a residential guy. So, two year warranty on it, nice. And the cutting swath is 17 inches. A lot of guys take off their shield, I don't. You know, a lot of times I cut in shorts or I don't wanna throw stones and break any windows, try to reduce the amount of anything getting hurt or damaged is always a good thing. Are there other trimmers out there that are better than this? Probably. How I arrived at this one, was basically, I had a set of parameters, it's called critical thinking. Set of parameters, what I was looking for, uh, weight wise, uh, fuel tank, uh, the engine displacement, uh, the power, and readily available parts. They're at home, any Home Depot pretty much. I mean, you can get them next day if they don't have it in stock, they can order. Sourcing parts is relatively easy. Like I said, any Home Depot, if it's not on Home Depot, you can probably get it on Amazon. Uh, in other stores around you. So what parts may you might need or might you, what parts would you need for this? You got air filter, you got two filters in here, you got a spark plug, you got a fuel filter on the line inside here. You may need some fuel line. Home Depot carries that. The little ball might get cracked or split open. You can source those parts relatively easy. I'm six foot five. Uh, I have large hands. This over mold grip here is excellent. Uh, this hand grip up here is nice and comfortable considering when you're trimming all day, your arms don't get tired, your hands don't get that, that weird sensation at the end of the day that vibrating all day. Uh, Obviously, this is the on and off switch here uh, to, to kill it, to start it. Uh, there's a safety here. You must depress that to actually work the throttle. But yeah, it starts up pretty quick. Let's see if we can do it here. Turn it on. Now, I, I haven't ran this. I don't know. Hit that a couple times. Turn it on the choke. Oh. There you go. 
you know, and I'm sitting in a chair and this thing basically fired up. I didn't want to really run it in here, but there's two thumb screws. There's one here on the top. I don't know if you can see that very well. And there's one on the bottom. And basically what you do is you just unscrew those and they're on the inside of the cover so they don't stick out and get broken off and you know the story. There's a filter here that I need to replace and then there's a pre-filter on the inside of the cap. So there's your two filters there. I've ran this for one season. Like I said, I got it in the beginning of 2020. Man, when, when I got out there, grass was tall because we didn't get released. We didn't get our permission to go out. I had customers calling me, where are you? I don't care what the governor says. But anyway, back to the SRM 2620T. Uh, no complaints, pros, starts up every time. I don't uh, baby this equipment. Uh, I'm pretty rough. On the mower, I put it in a trimmer rack and ride around with it. Uh, that way when I'm in the back 40, I don't have to go all the way back to the truck and trailer to get the trimmer, it's already with me. I do all my trimming and then I mow and then, you know, take care of business. But yeah, 2620T, I highly recommend it. It does have a little bit more weight, I think, uh, compared to what I came from was the Pass 225. This is more of a residential combi system. I'm just going to be honest. I tried to save a few bucks. Was it worth it? Yeah, you had to start somewhere, right? With the Echo line. Uh, I like the Echo line. To me, it's uh, it's it's did me well. Done me well. Served me well. But there you have it. The Echo SRM 2620T. And if I haven't already said it, they do make an SRM 2620. It doesn't have the gear reduction on the business end here. But I, I like that extra torque. I really do. It makes it a, the combination of it, the reduction of the gears and the 25.4 cc's makes an excellent combination for trimming regular grass or even higher higher grass, thicker grass. And uh, the Speed Feed 400, highly recommend it. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please watch for next Tuesday video. And please stay to the very end. The point of the video that I made was you can't always believe what you see on TV. We're gonna leave it at that. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's getting ready for this season, the mowing season. And uh, thank you for watching. You ready? Are you ready, old man? Hello. Today we're gonna to talk about the Troy Built Vortex 2890. Ah! Really? You didn't even tell them who we are all day. Hi. I'm Robert. Man, they don't know, do they? Would you stop, please? Come on. Let's try this again. Nice clipboard. Hi, I'm Robert with Oakwood Lawn Maintenance. Today, we're going to review the Troy Built Vortex 2890. Go ahead. No, Bert. Can we please finish this? I'm just trying to do a review. We'll go back out to work. I'm out of here. Appreciate you coming in. I'm gonna get eaten by a dog. <laughs>